One thing that hasn't slowed down because of the pandemic is gun violence in Toronto. Most of it is done by armed criminal gangs fighting over turf, prostitution, and drugs. Uh, but increasingly, uh, innocent bystanders are being caught in the crossfire, including children. Uh, between 2014 and last year, the number of shootings in Toronto increased by 161%. Um, there were more than uh, the 460 shootings last year, more than one per day. And the number of people injured and killed in those shootings increased by 111%. Now, why am I using 2014 as a base year for comparison? Because that's a year politicians told police across the province, including in Toronto, to stop doing street checks. What's a street check? A street check is a process where police interview people on the street who are not accused or convicted of a crime, but who may know something about criminal activity in their neighborhood. And they record it and put it into a central a database. And it's a key form of police intelligence gathering. Now, in 2005, the then police chief of Toronto, Bill Blair, who is now uh, Justin Trudeau's public safety minister, introduced enhanced street checks after a very bad year of violence that became known as the Summer of the Gun. And between, it worked. Between 2005 and 2014, the number of uh, shootings in Toronto dropped by 32%, and the number of people injured or killed in them dropped by 55%. Then they were stopped, and that we now have today's numbers. Now, why were they stopped? The politicians were concerned that street checks in Toronto were being used indiscriminately, and that the result was that black people were being disproportionately um, targeted. And there was a problem. By that time, they were being done too indiscriminately, but they were never supposed to be abandoned because of their, their fundamental to police work. What was supposed to happen was that the Ontario Liberal government was supposed to introduce a new regulation that would protect the civil rights of people interviewed by police and enable the police to do their jobs. But the regulation the government introduced was unworkable and basically uh, street checks have been uh, scrapped ever since. And now we're reaping the whirlwind. What we really need is to bring back street checks with appropriate safeguards for the public and that enable the police to do their job. But it's not going to happen because every politician is terrified of being accused of racism if they recommend this by anti-police activists who hate the police no matter what. And so the carnage on our streets continues and it's not going to stop. Uh, I'm Laurie Goldstein of Sun Media. We're always interested in hearing your views and please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and our YouTube channel.